so you need to tell yourself every single day it's okay if this doesn't go the way i plan you know like it's okay completely fine what's mine and what's perfect for me is on its way So hey guys, welcome and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, girl, my name is Lucy. I always say to stay subscribed, we'll have a good time on this channel. This feels so weird. I haven't actually done a sit down video in a long time. I'll say two weeks, which is not necessarily a long time, but it just kind of feels weird. But anyway, as you've already seen by the title, today's video is going to be habits for women. I roll out these videos like every now and then just to update you guys on habits that I've picked up, things that I'm doing to better myself on a daily basis, or things that I have been doing, but I haven't really shared with you guys in other videos. I just kind of put them in one, you know, and share with you guys. And it's pretty much habits about everything in life. So it's not specific. It's just different things that I do, different habits of mine that helps me be a better version of myself. You know, we're on this journey, like I said, it's not ending. So anything that I'm doing, anything, no matter how little, I just like to share just so you guys could incorporate in your life and see how it works for you now while i'm talking about these habits i will be installing my hair the hair is from gorgeous hair again this is a brand that is not new on my channel i've worked with them a lot of times so let's get into this video <laughs> now i'm going to start by showing you guys what comes in the box as per usual the same stuff right comes with a kit comb edge brush an elastic band pins bobby pins i guess yeah pretty much and a tweezer the regular stuff regular wig wig cap and then we have the wig itself now i picked a different wig this time because it is the new year right it is the new year it is 2023 i just wanted to add some color to my collection of wigs and this is a gorgeous wig i picked so nice comes in this nice nets and stuff but let me read you guys the specs of this week but it will still be linked in the description box below just in case you might want to check it out which i definitely recommend this is their gorgeous caramel brown highlight loose wave y shape swiss hd lace wig that is long but uh, like i said oh i have it it's not 20 it is 22 inches and the color obviously is caramel brown and the lace is y shape swiss hd lace I just said that. I don't know why I repeated that <laughs> but anyway this is how the wig looks like and as per usual it's a bang wig but it does have lace in the middle which is something that I really really like with um, gorgeous hair wigs or bang wigs it's not the type that looks like really wiggy it has you know lace and some type of form and shape to it it comes with three hooks inside and it also comes with an elastic band for security we're going to go ahead and wear this wig this is how the wig looks as i've put it on i look really different the first habit that i would recommend that you take serious for this year 2023 is to prioritize your sleep right we should be getting at least seven to nine hours of sleep and you know definitely you're not getting as much as you should i had a sleep problem last year that you know that i was using better me to kind of help myself with that and i finally got a hang of it which was amazing so now i prioritize sleep in my life because it just helps me feel refreshed and with your system as well your body system your gut health everything if there's anything that is distracting you from getting that sleep for instance your phone which was one of my problems because i would have a lot like a ridiculously high amount of screen time in a whole day and then when it's time for me to sleep i'll find it hard to sleep after a whole day's activity you need to refresh you need to just calm down and let your body do its do its thing but if you don't give it enough time for it to do what it's supposed to do that's a problem last year i also had this thing where i didn't want a tv in my bedroom just because of you know my quality of sleep i've mastered my screen time so i don't mind having a tv in my room actually right now i do have a tv in my room i know when to turn it off and go to sleep okay i prioritize sleep and i would definitely recommend that you guys do so as well we talked a lot last day about people friendship your vibe your energy people you let into your space now my second habit that you should prioritize for this year 2023 especially because we're in january so it's the perfect time for you to do so prioritize surrounding yourself this year with 
only genuine people people that would help you grow people that make you your best self people that help you achieve your goals people that would contribute and create value in your life these are the kind of people that you should prioritize surrounding yourself like with for this year 2023 last year we talked so much about this we talked about friendships we talked about goals we talked about you know relationships energy vibes all that kind of stuff this year sis take it serious like take it like a personal problem like a personal journey which it should be to allow only people that serve your soul people that are warm towards your spirit people that give you that sense of peace and calm whenever you're around them these are the only kind of people that you should surround yourself with this year and make it a personal problem like make it a goal that this year you're not letting just anyone and their vibe and their energies around you that is something that i feel like this is january and you should begin to prioritize put at the top of your list because it's going to help you throughout the entire year doing my hair and talking at the same time it doesn't always work but we gotta do what we gotta do okay. my third habit is for you to practice gratitude on the daily every single day make it a habit to count your blessings be grateful for the things that you have the things that are working well in your life because not everyone has what you have and the place that you might be in your life that you might think is not you know good enough most people want that learn to wake up every day and dwell on the things that are working well be grateful for where you are what you're doing it might not be perfect but you are at a better place or you are at a good place or you're at an okay place we have that tendency of always focusing on things that are not working well in our lives that we forget that there are so many things that we could be grateful for for instance the breath that you're breathing the air that you breathe <laughs> the food you're able to eat you're able to walk you're able to step out you have a job it might not be the best job but at least it serves you at that very time you know you might not have the best relationship or even have a relationship at all but you have the opportunity and the life in you to get a relationship tomorrow you don't really know what's going to happen today you might be single tomorrow you might be someone's fiance doesn't really happen like that but you get the point you know you get what i mean so you have to be grateful for for every point and every stage that you are in life because it prepares you and opens doors for more things to happen in your life the fourth thing that i would encourage you guys which to be honest is one of the most important things on my list is to have this mindset of progress over perfection and this is something that i also struggled with for so long if something didn't look like the end result that i thought or i imagined it to look like i didn't see it as progress i didn't see it as achieving a goal remember in my 2023 um preparing yourself for 2023 video i spoke about you know writing down your your achievements for the year 2022 and i had mentioned in that video that whatever you think it looks like progress you should also be grateful and add it as an achievement progress is an achievement and i think most people find it so hard to understand or to see or even acknowledge that moving from point a to point b in whatever goal that you have set is good it is progress it is worth celebrating it's what being grateful for we have this tendency me included where you have a goal right if we don't hit that exact target and it doesn't look like what we intended for it to look like we don't see it as progress forgetting the fact that we moved up the starting point so you are not where you used to be but you're not where you want to be that is progress everyone needs to start today to have this habit of progress over perfection did i at least grow from this situation did i learn something did i pick something yes you did are you in like tip-top shape do you have it all together absolutely not then you should be grateful this is something that would help you so much with your mindset switch it will help you so much with your abundance mindset it will help you so much with you know the money which i will talk so much about money very soon now my fifth habit is for you to take long walks i've spoken about walks before on my channel 
you know i think i gave you guys a target of like 10,000 steps a day that is still the goal the reason why i would take walks serious is because of how much it has helped me personally with offloading things at the end of the day or just kind of like unpacking things silently quietly especially when i'm listening to a podcast or you know kind of listening to a youtube video when i'm walking that kind of eases my mind all the time i just feel relief i feel like i have like burning off my shoulder it's like whatever i was feeling before i took the walk it kind of feels like it is resolved or it's completely off but it's not it's just it gives you a clear head for you to find a solution to whatever might be bugging your mind at that very moment i love walks i love taking walks the fresh air when it just hits me ugh, i'm a whole different person when it hits me it's like there's this thing it just feels like a drug that i took and i'm just automatically calm i love taking walks you guys i would definitely encourage that you take walks every single day daily walks will help you also with your health so you might not necessarily have the time to go to the gym but taking walks like getting in at least 10,000, 12,000 steps a day is exercise and you need to be exercising you guys know that <laughs> the sixth one on my list is to make more of your meals at home now i have two reasons why this is important first reason it saves money you make your meals at home you don't have to spend so much during the week you know buying food out or eating out or stuff like that while the second one is when it comes to your fitness and your health so you are able to control what you eat and how much you eat when you eat most of your meals at home you're cooking it you know the ingredient you're using there is no question about you know how much was in it or how much ingredients or how much spice or you know hidden spices and stuff or he hidden ingredients when you eat most of your meals at home you find yourself eating a lot healthier and you're able to portion control okay the sixth habit that you must pick up for this year 2023 is to embrace negative emotions embrace it with your heart dwell as in bake and marinate in it then move on from it that's the best way to handle situations we don't avoid negative emotions here we don't avoid emotions at all like point blank period like we don't avoid it we don't avoid our problems we deal with them but we look for mature ways to deal with our emotions and deal with our problems especially our feelings i always speak about acknowledging your emotions like giving it the attention it needs so you point it out you label it and know what you're feeling you know how to address it when you label it. We embrace them. We dwell in them. But what we do not do is dwell in them for so long. But I feel like this is not really curling as I want it to curl. I mean, this side. I feel like I'm not getting to the roots as I should. So I think I'm going to redo like this one but the eighth habit i'm going to talk to you about today is setting personal boundaries i put this in here because i made a video about setting boundaries people pleasing and all of that right and i read the comments and honestly i feel you i can totally relate because every day there is this constant battle to you know be your authentic self and be your true self there's this constant battle that you always have to fight when people come into your life and try to you know stretch you or try to make you do things or fall out of character and you're always struggling and honestly i struggle a lot i'm telling you the last time i actually stepped out of character was as close as two weeks ago then you just step out of it for a brief second right as long as you pick yourself back up and realize what you have done i'm totally fine with it because on this journey it would not be perfect like human beings are not perfect we are not perfect so is our character our our lives and all that kind of stuff so in as much as we're trying to work on being a better person or working on being the best version of yourself you're going to relapse you're going to fall short sometimes you're going to step out of character sometimes this is a reminder for the year 2023 to set boundaries personal boundaries okay like no matter what and i again like i said like it's a constant struggle it's a constant battle but learn to set personal boundaries like sometimes you might step out of it but personal boundaries are important now let's deal with these bangs before we get into the last two habits because i'm loving this hair so far <laughs> i am totally i love this hair like so far 
this is giving me a lot of life like do you guys see how this looks oh i love it oh that was hot okay i think it looks good i think i need to remove this one because i feel like it's too heavy in my eyes i'm going to put some hair serum on the wig like this now while i'm doing this let's talk about the ninth one right now the ninth one i have for you guys today is to cultivate this habit of embracing failure rejection and mistakes it is totally okay like i said earlier when it comes to negative things that happen in our lives or the things that we don't quite have yet we tend to stress out we tend to worry so much. We tend to give ourselves unnecessary headache for the things that are not going well in our lives. And for so many people, myself included in the past, when it comes to mistakes, rejection and failure, I used to tell myself it's one of my biggest fear. And with rejection, it was just that thing where I would be so scared to the point that I would start to have panic attacks just because i feel like i'll be rejected for something that have i have not even been rejected yet for if that makes sense well i know definitely that i'm doing the right things if it doesn't work well it doesn't work well you know i never had the mindset of oh it's okay to to not get it or it's okay for this to not work out i didn't have that mindset like if it didn't work out then it was a bad thing and that's the thing it is not necessarily a bad thing so many times it's actually even a blessing and you're not embracing it as such you can't have everything in life. Like rejection is part of life. Failure is part of life. Uh, making a mistake, it is definitely part of life. And if there's anything that you should take from this video, I know I've said it so many times, but I'll keep repeating it as much as I can for anyone who cares to listen. You can't grow in life if you don't fail, if you don't make mistakes that's the only genuine real growth that you would have in your life because you have failed and you have learned and you picked the lesson and you're moving forward you're using the lesson that you have learned and you have picked up and you're using it to better yourself but if you don't have those then how are you going to move forward not everything will be smooth in your life in fact no one should wish that everything is smooth in their lives it's the same way you say like if everyone likes you, if you're the kind of person that you just have this personality that everyone is your friend, everyone likes you, everyone likes everything that you do, then you're not being your authentic self because it's absolutely impossible. I want you to have this habit today that I embrace failure, not as in I'm calling failure to myself, but then like I shouldn't be so scared of it to the point where it gives me anxiety. I shouldn't be so scared of it to the point where I actually even pull it close to me. That's not what you want. You want to be okay with not always having things together. You want to be okay with not having that job or failing. You can't get every job you even apply to think about that, okay? You can't do that. You might not get the job that you truly want, but you got another job that was even better for you, okay? Think about things in positive light all the time. Always put things in position that it favors you no matter how you think it's going to go. Always speak life and light into your life. Tell yourself, it's okay if I don't get the job, if it's okay if I and this guy don't work out, you know? like. It just means that we're not meant for each other. It means like I'm still yet to find my person. That's the positive mindset that I have right now and I'll encourage you guys to have. So you need to tell yourself every single day, it's okay if this doesn't go the way I plan, you know, like it's okay, completely fine. What's mine and what's perfect for me is on its way. Now, the last habit I have for you guys today is not new, but I need to use it to open 2023 is to be your authentic self. Never be scared to be your authentic self. Every single day, tell yourself that you're not compromising who you truly are. It doesn't matter the uncomfortable situation that you might be. This is how the hair came out. I really love it. This is the length. It's really nice. It's very different from what I would normally wear, but it is a new year and it's boring to stick with your norm, okay? Like, it's boring to stick with your normal look and all that kind of stuff. So that's the reason why we're exploring. 
but it's nice i really love it it looks so good the color suits my complexion so well it just kind of blends in and i really really like that anyway i'm going to have all the links in the description box below go ahead and check the company out they have amazing amazing styles of wig like i'm telling you a wet and go type wig gorgeous hair has it like if you've not heard of them this is me letting you know they are so popular on tiktok and everyone raves about their wigs because they're so convenient so definitely check them out i'm going to link it in the description box below that's pretty much everything i have for you guys today i hope you are able to pick a thing or two as per usual if you're not subscribed to the channel my girl go ahead and subscribe to the channel i don't know why you've been watching this video without subscribing and also i am very very active on instagram as well i'm going to link that in the description box below the times you can't find me here you will definitely catch me on instagram so go ahead and follow me thank you guys so much for watching this video and i will definitely see you in my my next one bye guys those of you that are listening in your car at your job and you at home i don't care where you at turn this up right now because we're about to go in hey so